What's a good word, gang? Mad here, acoustic selection for another week of YouTube Church. It's Super Bowl Sunday, but that doesn't matter. God is good on the throne, and we want to grow spiritually together. I want to talk to you this week about growing your relationship with God inside out. It's super, super important if you want to mature in your faith, if you're going to be a, a Christian that has this lasting faith, a Christian that is influential to others, and a Christian that is striving to do the work of the Lord, that you grow inside and out. My father and I were talking about this the other day. The church kind of circle we grew up in, especially my dad as, as, a, as a young, as a teenager when he first got saved, was all about rules. It was all about no's. It was all about don't. Don't drink. Don't have sex before marriage. Don't curse. Don't dip. Don't um, ever skip church. Don't ever not read your Bible. Don't ever... Go here. Don't ever stay out this late. Don't ever be around this crowd. Don't ever go there at this hour. Don't ever go. And if you ask your, you ask the Christian, you know, um, what are you for? It's like, well, I don't know, but here's what I don't do. I don't curse or I don't drink. or I don't. That is a fragile, fragile faith that is destined to fail. And it's a miserable way to live life because God is a God of yes. And when you see the love and forgiveness and mercy and everything that Christ has given us, that, it, that he's proven to us through the cross, it changes you from the inside out. And when you've truly been changed from the inside out, you don't need rules. You don't need somebody telling you what to do, what not to do, and all this stuff, because the joy of the Lord lives inside of you. you, you, you the, the, like the Bible says, the fruits of the Spirit are love and joy and peace and long-suffering. All these things are fruits of the Spirit. The Bible says, God, abide. Let his word abide in you. Now, now I, I don't know about if you're like me, but like sometimes when you think of the Bible, you think like the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt... And it's, it's such a defeating way to live when you're in jeopardy of just saying no. I, the, the analogy I use all the time is bodybuilding. Uh, I've been in weightlifting, been competing, uh, in weightlifting competition since I was, I started lifting when I was 13, my first competition when I was 14. And I always say, if you ask someone, are you a bodybuilder? I go to someone, I say, are you a bodybuilder? They say, well, listen, I don't go to movies and um, I don't watch TV, uh, a lot of TV. Um, I don't stay on my iPad a lot and I don't play guitar and I, um, I don't drive places late at night and um, I don't ever look at things I don't, I'm not supposed to. You'd be looking at someone like, the question was, are you a bodybuilder? What are you talking about? The question is, do you work out? Do you watch your nutrition? Do you research and read articles about, about fitness programs and circuit training and, flex, um, and, and flexibility and, 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 circuit and, and, and supersets and, and strength exercises versus cardio? Versus, those are the things you should be talking about, not all this nonsense of what you don't do. Well, the Christian life's the same way. Don't get caught up in being holier than thou and talking about all these things you're against and you don't do personally. Instead, press towards the mark, like it says in Romans. Run the race. It can be tiring, guys, but when you're changed the inside out, that inside is filled with the love of God. You're filled and reminded day in and day out of how much God loves you, how much he, he's given you mercy every single day. And then you want to do the work of the Lord. You want to share it. Look, God, I got to tell you about Jesus. I got to tell you about how much Jesus loves you. I got to tell you about what Jesus has done for me. Do you know that he says in the Bible, the same spirit that rose him from the grave lives inside you and you accept him as your savior and you walk by faith and, 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 and you let the Bible become a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. And You know, it, it's easy, guys, when you're changed inside out. It's easy to smile when you see somebody. How's your day? Hey, good seeing you. How are you doing? Oh, great. It's easy to walk around with a song in your heart, like it says in David. Like, like David says in the book of Psalms. You know, Psalms 100, I, I challenge you to read that day. Psalms 100 is a book about gratitude. It's a psalm about just being grateful. It is so easy to be grateful with every single thing you have in your life when you channel it through the love God has shown, shown us all through Jesus. I want to challenge you today. Look at your life. Are you trying to put on... Um, like my, uh, my, my pastor always says, the deeper the roots, the stronger the, the tree and the branches and, and the leaves. So when you grow inside out, you're working on the roots. And when the roots are right, the tree grows and the, and the blossoms and the roses and so forth. 
What we as Christians often do, we take this dead rose bush, we just try to whoosh, staple on. Okay, whoosh, I'm going to try to love people. Whoosh, I'm going to try not to drink. Whoosh, try not to do drugs. Whoosh, try not to curse. Whoosh, try, and all these things that we're not, we're trying not to do on a dead bush. It's not going to work. Outside in living will never work. It might for a short season, but at some point you're going to fall. When, when the fire comes, when the test comes, when you're pushed against the wall, you're going to fold. But when you're changed inside out and you let the love of Christ abide in you and flow, flow through you, that's when the blessings come and that's when the Christian walk has lived its best. Let that challenge you this week with YouTube Church. I'm picking, let's see. I've learned don't pick against Tom Brady. I don't like the Patriots, but how can you go against him? I'm picking the Patriots by six. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy Sunday. God bless.